So I'm here with Ted, and Ted, you're the owner of Big Bottom Whiskey. And so we're going to be talking about, of course, whiskey, because that's one of your passions, but we're going to be talking about the Toast event, which happens every year. And so tell us about that. Yeah, Toast, this is our fourth annual event, uh, and it's sponsored by the Oregon Distillers Guild, which I'm the president of this year. And it's a chance to get a bunch of smaller producers under one roof and give the public yeah. a chance to really come by and taste the different things that's being produced, not only out of Oregon, out of the Northwest, and some uh, even overseas. So it's a great opportunity to really come by and taste some of these uh, some of these products and talk to the people who actually make them. Because it is there are all kinds of things there. I mean, we tried we tried iris root last year, out of, a spirit out of that. Uh, you know, absinthe. Yep. Just a grog. <laughs> yeah, it's and it's a, it's surprising and amazing uh, the amount of spirits we have coming out of yep. uh, just Oregon alone. So this is a great opportunity for people to do this all under one roof. Uh, it is going to be this, uh, today is the second day, so Saturday. Yeah. Last night was a great time. Yeah. And, and I'll, I'll make sure that the pictures of you don't get put on the internet. <laughs> um, but we had a great time last night. We're going to be doing it again today yeah. from, from 4 to 10. Uh, so get a, a little early start for those going to the Timbers game tonight. You can come by and have some fun and then head on over to, uh, to the park. And it's a very nominal fee, I think, to get yes. in. Yes, so. 20 in advance, um, which you can still get tickets in advance. Uh, when you're watching the show, and 25 at the door, yeah. and that does allow for uh, 10 samplings throughout there with the ability to purchase more. So yeah. it's a great deal. Great food trucks will be there as well, so you'll be able to grab a bite to eat. Now, in honor of toast, you're going to be making a drink for us. What are you going to make? Yes, today we're making a mint julep. Um, so we are going to be using uh, my Big Bottom Straight Bourbon Whiskey. This is a 91 proof uh, high rye bourbon. Uh, it's our flagship product that we've had around now for all three years, uh, and it, it really goes well, neat and in a cocktail. Uh, and, and I picked the mint julep because there's a, people always try mint julep once yeah. and, and they don't go back to it again. And there's a number one reason why, it's the ice. Very odd, I know. They muddle the, they muddle the mint, then they go to the refrigerator, push crushed ice, uh -huh. fill it up with crushed ice from the fridge, add the booze, and within minutes, their ice is dissolved and everyone's walking around with green stuff uh -huh. in their teeth. <laughs> so I wanted to compensate the bad ice maker by coming up with something a little bit different. And so what was that? A different version of it. So first off, it starts out with a shaker uh, with ice. What you're going to want to do is pour two ounces of bourbon. I do like mine a little stronger than the average person. <laughs> and then two ounces of mint simple syrup. Now, how I do this, pretty simple. Cup of water, cup of sugar, uh, a good bunch of mint, put it in a pot, heat it up for about 20 minutes. Uh -huh. uh, the, mints, the mint simple syrup is gonna turn this nice emerald green color. You know it's done, strain it, and you've got a simple syrup that you can use for cocktails all throughout the summer. And it'll stay in the refrigerator for about four weeks before you start seeing little green islands floating on I don't know if I could, it would take, I'll be drinking more than that. It wouldn't it's, last four yeah, weeks. It wouldn't last, <laughs> yeah, there you go. So with this cocktail, how we do it, is I like it shaken, uh, mm -hmm. adds a little class to it. Also, you do want to, Chill it down a little bit. And lo and behold. Lo and behold, you now have this beautiful product. That really is beautiful. <laughs> and I do guarantee that you will not have anyone walking around your party with green stuff in your teeth <laughs> unless you serve spinach dip, then it's not my fault. And um, that's generally not in a martini glass, is it? <laughs> no. Garnish it with a little sprig of that. A little sprig, and that's Perfect. it. Perfect. Well, you know, I cannot tell. I've told people for a whole year how much fun Toast was. I cannot tell you all. It is a great event. It gets, it really is a lot of local people there, too. You can go to Gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to their website, get the information. Be sure and come down and have a great time. Thank you so much, Ted. Thank you very much. Is this one mine now? That is yours.